Yo, what's up, YouTube? So today is April 1st, 2023. Happy April Fools. So today I just want to make another addition to a video that I've worked on in the past called um, Giving Up on the Black Community. Um, I believe this will be part three. Um, I've had some ideas, something I was thinking about early this morning and last night. I just want to make an additional um information and some ideas and some issues that I've been thinking about within the black community. So I want to talk about the class system. Okay. You know, in the black community, one of the biggest problems that I see is we feel like we are responsible for each other. I'm tell you what I mean. In every culture, the white culture, the Middle Eastern culture, Asian culture, even African culture, they all have a class system. Your upper class, your middle class, your lower class, uh, you have your political leaders, you have your military personnel, you have your factory workers, your white collar workers, blue collar workers, and so forth. Now in the black community, is the only community that I see that will make you feel guilty for being successful and wanting to change your circle, wanting to change your environment. Once you decide what kind of life you want for yourself, you have to change the people you surround yourself with, right? You gotta try to change your environment and hang around like-minded people in the black community they'll make you feel like you're supposed to go back and help people who were not quite as successful as you now there's nothing wrong with helping people but I feel like it's not your responsibility to do to do so for example say you are a black man or woman who decided to take your education seriously. It is not your responsibility to go back and help another black person who decided not to take their education seriously. If you're a black person who decided not to have children until you are married, it is not your responsibility to go back and help someone who decided to have multiple children by multiple people out of wedlock. You know, now they're having financial issues and they're looking to you to help them. Now, if you want to help them, that's fine. But I feel like you shouldn't feel like it's your responsibility to. It's more of an act of generosity. Um, but in the black community, they'll try to guilt trip you into feeling bad about being more successful than your peers. This is one of the reasons why I believe that you have black, uh, so many rappers and uh, artists who get murdered in the black community because they feel like they have to stay connected to the streets or connected to the hood. Um, you sold multiple millions of records, multi-million record selling artists getting murdered in their own neighborhoods that they grew up in because they feel like they have to stay connected because they gotta feel, I don't know, genuine of some sort. And it's not true from what I see. You know, I, I feel like once you reach a certain level, you gotta leave. You gotta leave the environment that you came from if you feel like it's not beneficial to you. You have to change the kind of people you hang around. Black people need to practice classism. This is one of the biggest problems in our neighborhoods is you got black kids that take their education seriously who are sharing the same classroom with kids who don't want to take their education seriously. So the kids who, you know, they're trying to make a life for themselves are being affected by it. They're being negatively affected. They're being bullied. You know, they're being mistreated. They can't concentrate, you know. The people who 
went to school and took their education seriously, who started their own businesses or built their careers and got married before having children are usually the ones who are living in the middle class. These are the ones who are uh, living in the upper class, blacks, I mean. You know, um, I have African friends and people from different cultures. And one thing I notice about them is if you are not productive, if you don't have a decent job, if you don't uh, at a certain level in your life, they don't hang around you. They don't hang out with you, you know. Um, and to me, that's pretty smart, you know. Even me personally, like I don't hang around. It sounds mean, but like if a person has not at least graduated high school or at least achieved a GED, at least, I'm not going to hang out with you. Now, that might not be the um, all the time, but most of the time, because most of the time it is the case because, you know, that's basic. That's like the first um, achievement like that's that's like the graduating high school is like the first and most basic uh, requirement to be in the workforce just about you know um, if you don't have a at least a, a high school diploma you can only work so so much jobs you can only really get so far you understand what I mean so I don't want to hang around and the thing is, is like, I'm not trying to, I don't want to sound mean when I say it, but when I hang around people or I see people who did not at least graduate high school, I notice a few things about them. I'm not going to say what those things are, but I, I do notice a few things about people who did not at least graduate high school. I, it's just, I, I just can't help but notice it. Now, I know everybody's circumstances different. Some people may have had some sort of issue that kept them from graduating high school, but to me, you, you should still be able to at least get a GED. You know, um, you should have the motivation in you to um, achieve a GED at least. You know, if you didn't do that, then I, I really don't want to hang out with you. You know, um, you, you, you know, if I don't know what your situation is, you know, you may have had something going on where you couldn't finish school. That's fine. But, you know, the time comes, especially if you especially if you're over the age of like 21, 25, at least, you know, and you you should have sat down one day, say, OK, I need to get my GED, you know, and just do whatever it takes. Discipline yourself to get that GED, you know, and I feel like there's no excuses. That's just my personal opinion. You know, like I like I said, I don't want some uppity, but that's just how I feel. You know, um, drugs. I don't hang around people who do drugs. Um I don't really like hanging around people who even curse uh, too much. A little bit of cursing is okay, but if you curse a lot, um, I'll probably keep my distance from you, you know. And I've learned that from even hanging around Africans. I noticed that they don't hang around people who ain't got nothing going for themselves. They try to network and surround themselves with people who are doing something. And I understand that. And I feel like in the black community, uh, we need to stop making people who are successful or doing good for themselves feel guilty like they have to uh, come back to visit and got to keep coming back around no nah, they don't you know there's a class system they, they you're at the next level now so i guess that's all i want to say 